everybody. Welcome to Free Nature Therapy. Today we're going to be doing a little camping. We're going to be checking out a glacier and maybe some pink fish. Let's get into it. So I just picked up this little two-person tent. Seems to be holding up pretty good. It's been pouring down rain for the past few days. So we are gonna give it a shot and see how it how it is. It's a backpacking tent, so it's four and a half pounds. And uh, I'm hoping to do some some trips before winter, some bike-in trips, and really put this thing to the test. So packable, light, and enough room for two. Alright, well it's getting late, we got a big day tomorrow, maybe some glaciers, maybe some pink salmon, so we gotta get to bed. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. There's no rain today, at least as of yet. So we're gonna try to get going because we'd like to go on a little hike and possibly do some pink fishing. I don't know, one of the two. Um, but uh, we got a nice early start. So we're gonna pack up, eat some breakfast and hit the road. I'll see you at the next spot. We've reached Portage Glacier. This is a glacier fed lake and the glacier's way back up in there. So unfortunately we don't have a boat, but we're gonna go on a little hike and uh, see if we can find one. Um, I think there's a trail just down the road. We'll see if we can hike up and get a close shot. All right, we are currently hiking back to Byron Glacier. I don't know if I've ever been back here before, but uh, that Portage Lake we were just at, you used to be able to see the glacier, but it's receded so much that it's now back, kind of tucked, tucked away in a cove at the very back of the lake. So now they offer tours. You can hop on a boat, go check it out. But today we're gonna be checking out a different glacier, Byron. Here we come. It's one thing you have to worry about here in Alaska. There are bears everywhere, and it doesn't help that the forests are so thick and full of life that you can't see more than like five feet. They could be right on the other side of it, but you just make a lot of noise. Don't want to surprise them, because then you'll end up in a bad situation. So we usually don't have any uh, trouble meeting that goal. Try to be pretty loud every time we get out. Ooh, what do we have here? I'm afraid the rain has caught up with us, but that's all right. It's still a beautiful day. It's actually kind of warm, especially once you get moving. Um, you never know what you're gonna find. This little creek here on the way back to the glacier. Oh, I can see blue, baby. I can see blue. You probably can't, but it is right up there. Woo, we made it. 
This is pretty incredible. Look at that. get on top of that boulder for a view. Look at that blue ice. I would not want to be climbing around on that. Look at all those crevices. It's a little misty out here so can't see the top of it. That's all right though. That's what I wanted right there. How's that for a view, huh? Incredible. Woo! We get the camera going for this part in case I break my freaking leg. Ugh. There we go. We're safe. We're good. Oh man, we are also soaking wet. That's alright though. Man. Alaska. Hello. My poor dog's wondering where I went. You stay there, dog. All right. We're good. We're fine. Look at the crack. The snow line right there. I don't need to be caught in a crevasse today. What's going on, Mountain Dog? That's quite the stream. Come on. Whoa! Let's go this way. Come on. Oh, buddy, go. That's what you call living, buddy. <laughs> We found some pink salmon. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can catch some. They're pretty nasty. Um, most Alaskans don't eat pinks, they stick with reds. But, uh, but we're gonna give it a shot. All we're looking to do is get our line wet and catch a couple fish. So we're gonna be releasing them anyway, but they're a lot of fun. 
it's kind of cool. We have the place to ourselves because nobody's interested in catching pinks. Their meat's kind of mushy and they don't taste quite as good as the reds. And we've had a really hot year for red salmon this year. So it's nice to just catch a couple and uh, enjoy your time on your own personal gravel bar. on the new rod. Yeah. Oh, got him. I saw the flash. Damn, in the mouth again. <laughs> That's why they call them humpies. That's right. I'll hold your rod. Cats with a step on it. Oh, look at that nasty boy. Oh, yeah. And that's why Alaskans Starting don't eat him. Some rot on him. Oh, I'll let you live out the rest of your life. <laughs> right in front of you, yep. It got him. <laughs> oh, old nest. Oh, yeah. There's a big old lumper. That's a, that's a big pink. So check it out, Cass. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, there's a nice hump. Huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's slime. <laughs> Got him. Another big one. He's a big boy. At least this one's not rotting. Yeah, that's not not a bad looking fish. God, oh, look at that mouth. Oh. <laughs> Here, let me do a thumbnail. <laughs> oh, is he squirting eggs on you? Oh, see him! Oh no, you got milk. You got the milk shot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what I get for touching it with these delicate hands. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! Two for two. I'll be taking a little bit. I'll take a little bit of hair. It's a big bowl. Oh, you're getting 
melted on again. <laughs> oh, he is, he is a fish whisperer. Well, that was a lot of pinks and a lot of fun. They're kind of hard to see without polarized sunglasses. I normally always bring them, but I uh, forgot them in the truck. Turned out I didn't need them. But uh, yeah, we're gonna pack it up, head back home and relax for the rest of the weekend. Thanks you guys for joining us though. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next adventure. Later.